Okay, so you know how whenever you go over to a friend's place, that is assuming you people actually have friends, and you guys just hang around, talk about the most random and mundane stuff that don't really mean anything, which are occasionally accompanied with long bouts of silence. To me, moments like these are some of the best parts about having friends. And now I found a manga that perfectly captures that feeling. A manga that, while it may not have a lot going on, presents some of the most realistic characters and scenarios I have ever gotten the chance to read. A manga that is ultimately about nothing. This is Seto Utsumi. Seto Utsumi is a manga I can best describe as the perfect depiction of doing nothing with the boys. It's a short slice of life manga about two boys, Seto and Utsumi, who spend their time after school to just chill out some steps outside, talking about the most mundane things in their lives. Like 99% of the series takes place on these steps, and is the one space we ever see the characters existing almost every time. Chapters start and end at these steps with the two boys mostly just sitting around exchanging words and doing nothing. And that's all there is to Seto Utsumi. There is no plot whatsoever. So you may be wondering, what's the point of this? Why would anyone want to read this in the first place? Despite the fact that they do nothing most of the time, there is just something so captivating about the way the series perfectly captures the mundanities of humans and friendships. The author behind the series, Kazuya Konomoto, appears to be a pro at this, cause he was also a scriptwriter behind one of my all-time favorite anime originals, Odd Taxi, another anime that excels in dialogue and characters. But unlike Odd Taxi filled to the brim with eccentric characters like a rapping mobster hedgehog, Seto Utsumi doesn't have that, but instead, the most normal characters I have ever seen in anime or manga. Seto is a straightforward meathead who might not be the brightest around but definitely wears his heart on his sleeve. He's a simple guy who doesn't stress so much about a lot of things unless bugs are involved. He's also the one who initiates most of their antics each chapter. Utsumi is the nerdy introvert who's a bit cynical and sarcastic. He tries to act a lot smarter than he actually is and seems disinterested in a lot of things, mostly regarding school life. In this comedy duo, he plays the role of the straight man. The two characters initially meeting by chance. Utsumi was finding a way to kill time before cram school and Sedo just showed up having nothing to do after school since he recently quit their school's football club. So their friendship was born from finding a way to pass time, something Utsumi begrudgingly came to accept. So pretty much almost every day, they just hang out at this one spot to just chill, never interacting at school. Through their conversations, we get to learn a lot more about these two people, their mentalities, and their personal lives, like Utsumi's anxieties for the future and Seto's troubled home life. To them, these little meetups they have turn into moments of respite for them. Seto has a reason to not go home early, and Utsumi has a way to pass time before cram school. This becomes a third place for the boys, a third place referring to a space separate from the environment a person usually goes to, the first place being your home and the second space being your workplace, but in the case of these boys, that would be school. You can really feel just how important the time they spend hanging out here is to them, because it's these brief moments the two get to just genuinely be themselves. There isn't a lot to it and that's what I love about the series. They talk about all sorts of things, from venting about that one senior who picks on them, to Seto talking about how he found a spider in his room and the best way to deal with it, to them just talking about horse racing. They talk about the most random things, naturally flowing from one topic to the other, just to then bask in silence before talking about something else completely unrelated to their initial topic. And this is how real life conversations between friends happen, and you can tell how the two of them really do enjoy the talks they have because of how much they humor each other. When one of them brings up a random topic, the other never shoots it down. They have banter and throw jabs at each other all the time, they never take it all that personal, and they never feel pressured to break their moments of silence. You may not realize it, but this is what peak friendship looks like. It's something I relate to a lot because I have friends exactly like this, and this manga really made me appreciate them a lot more than I already do. Seto Utsumi is classified as a slice of life series, but its approach to slice of life is wildly different from the type of slice of life we've come to expect from anime these days. They don't get into over-exaggerated scenarios or overreact to the things that happen to them, and best of all, there isn't a titular waifu with a gimmick. There is something of a love triangle though. Seto has a crush on this girl, Ichigo, who actually has feelings for Utsumi, but Utsumi doesn't feel the same way about her. 
This results in a one-sided relationship between her and Utsumi. She's kind of frustrated that he doesn't want to hang out with her. Anytime she wants to hang out after school, Utsumi is already on his way to meet Seto. She calls him gay for this, and Utsumi doesn't bother trying to explain himself and calls her out for having that kind of mentality. This was such a great character moment for Utsumi as it shows just how much he values the time he spends with Seto. But don't worry though, the manga doesn't divulge into a drama surrounding these three characters. The series is a comedy first and foremost. And let me tell you, the humor is exceptional. The jokes are mostly delivered through dialogue and rarely ever through visual gags. If it does happen to make use of visual gags, it's to act as an aid to the punchline that has been built up through the words of the characters. And the great thing about all these jokes is how perfect their comedic timing is. Every joke begins with a great setup, sometimes from previous chapters, and build upon each other before hitting you with a joke that would leave you gasping for air. It definitely did for me. And the fact that these jokes are delivered in what I can best describe as a dead pantone makes them even better. The manga's art style really helps in delivering the humor too. The sort of realistic look to the characters sells just how mundane the series is. They don't have any flashy designs and look pretty normal, like everyday people. It does kind of feel surreal and uncanny to me sometimes, but I think it adds to the visual gags, especially when they make facial expressions. The only gripe I have with the manga would be the background art looks really rough. They look as if someone took a real life photo and ran it through a filter and called it a day. It's kind of distracting and takes me out of the series, but at the same time, I can see the charm behind it. Seto Utsumi is a series that knows exactly what it's doing and doesn't try to waste your time, which is ironic considering the characters are here to waste time. It's insanely relatable, especially if you've been in situations like these before. At its heart, it's a series that depicts and celebrates friendship in a much more realistic light as opposed to what you're normally used to, and it's one that I can't recommend enough. It's a short series, only lasting 8 volumes which you could breeze through in a day or two if you have the time, though it might not be for everyone. But if you like trying out new and, should I say, experimental stuff, this is definitely a series you'll enjoy a lot. If I've convinced you to give this series a read, that means you owe me a subscribe. As always, this has been your very favorite slice of bread. Stay toasty.